This is the level 1 rapid infuser. It is used for the mass transfusion of blood products and crystalloid fluids for the prevention and treatment of clinical shock. Common clinical scenarios in which it can be used include major haemorrhage, trauma and placental abruption. It is a one person job and should be performed by someone who is trained in its use and should not be expected to take part in any other tasks during recess. Prior to use, you should ensure that it is plugged in, switched on and that the reservoir is topped up to an appropriate level. If it requires filling, bottle water should be used and can be placed in the area shown on screen. This is the level 1 infuser giving set. It can be found in bay 3 in recess. Ensure that all line clamps are closed initially. Burp the fluid bag before use. This is done by spiking, unspiking, removing excess air and then re-spiking the bag. This will help to reduce the risk of introducing air into the line and therefore your patient. Do this with both the first and second bags. Hang both bags in the designated fluid pressure chambers. There are different hanging levels within each chamber to facilitate the use of different sized fluid bags. Close the door and seal the unit. Both chambers are used so that fluid can be consistently infused by alternating from one bag to the next without delay. The heat exchange unit can now be secured into position slotting the lower blue end into dock 1, clicking back into the rear wall and sliding clip 2 over the upper part of the unit. The blood filter is then fitted into dock 3 with the orange gas vent uppermost to allow gas to escape. Slowly prime the line, opening all clamps from the first bag only, keeping the roller clamp closed to control speed. Prime your fluid chamber to about halfway, then slowly open the roller clamp to prime the line in a controlled manner. Once the line is primed for the first bag, clamp off bag 1 and complete the priming of line 2 by opening the clamp to the second bag. Switch on the infuser by pressing the green button. Once the display screen indicates that the water temperature has reached above normal body temperature, unclamp bag 1. Turn the pressure chamber on. Connect the giving set to the patient via a large bore cannula. The giving set is weighty so care should be taken to ensure that it is secured well with tape and bandage to prevent dislodging of the IV cannula. Unclamp the roller clamp to commence infusion of bag 1. Once the first bag is empty, close the roller ball and clamp off the line. Unclamp bag 2, switch off the pr pressure in chamber 1, switch the pressure on in chamber 2 and release the roller clamp to continue infusion. Replace the empty fluid bag in chamber 1 with the next bag of prescribed fluids. Continue to alternate between bags 1 and 2 until the patient is stabilised or ready for transfer.